Howdy, I'm here, here, here at Dollywood for the fall uh, we'll be doing a uh, lot, mostly same daily events. I'm so excited to check it out and bring y'all some videos. They got two flavors. They got pumpkin spice and plum apple. Plum apple is the green one. Been a been a pretty good day so far. Crowd has not been as bad as I thought. I got to hang out with my buddy Dylan Joseph. Um, watch down in Vincent. Low two rides. So been a pretty good day. I'm gonna try to find me some food now. All right, get getting finally get some food. Something I ain't got here in a while, and that is the barbecue pork sandwich, which is the one in the Hickory House just over there. Um, you know, I didn't get the fries, saved me like a dollar and a half, so we went from like twelve dollars to eight dollars and change by the time I took out the fries and my diamond discount. So let's see what we got. I've had the, I've had issues with Dollywood and food being cold, so we'll see if this is. They were serving them really fast, so It's good, not cold, so that's a, been a worry for me, but yeah. I mean, barbecue's one of the things that's a pretty safe bet to get. You see, got quite a bit of... Good, good, good solid 8 out of 10, so... Lingo something just kind of, this is not the, the festival food. It, it doesn't count as a tasting pass, which I did not get. But, no complaints. Good, solid food. Now, one complaint is I think it could use a little more barbecue sauce. Um, maybe if they had it up there, I doubt they did. But, um, you know, it, it could use a little more barbecue sauce. But I'm the type of guy that puts extra sauce on everything. And I
Hollywood train is not open. I don't think they've been open since the uh, um, accident, minor accident last week, where it derailed. I think it was mine. So. But yeah, it's more pumpkins around the um, sitting areas. But yeah, mucho pumpkins. Looks like they have shut down more of the area leading up to the Dolly Museum. A cool moment happening here from um, a guy I know used to go with the church is going to be doing the drums here, I think, or the keyboard or something. So, we're going to, at least he's supposed to, so we're going to come back when it starts here and see if, he, if he's here. I don't see him yet. One of the new things they uh, got up is the awning here over the uh, where the tunnel cave thing used to be. Don't see much shed like far as covering on. Yeah, I figured they put some form of roof that may still be coming. They got even got some pumpkins that on the lines here. Um, looks like I spy some Christmas lights over here. Uh, you got the little hand carved pumpkins, kind of similar to what you got, and uh, not hand carved, but old metal type pumpkins by the pizza place. I know they took out the horse and buggy thing, so we're gonna see. It seems I definitely seem like they got more pumpkins around around the area. So it looks like they just didn't do anything with the space where the horse used to be and the, the, the sorghum making. Yeah, still got the wood carvings. That's neat thing. They're shinier than the ones you see in some places. And this is the name. If you Come here, well, not a whole lot really too nothing major going on over here by the train. We got something going on here. Yeah. Buffet. Celebration harvest buffet. I miss this. So I didn't know this was going on. So, yeah, look like they're having a buffet. I didn't realize. I did not realize this was going on. We'll go over the menu. $20, so pretty good price for it. Where the uh, cinnamon bread line has got really long, close to this area. Um, you know, at 2 o'clock it was not hardly anybody in it. And now at 6 it's backed up 
a really long way. So I'm a late arriving crowd for Simmerman, but. And um, looks like they do have some frozen drinks over here, which is close to the Big Bear. So next year when you get the frozen drinks for free, that would be an option over here. Merchandise they got here. Pretty neat short. We about twenty dollars with a discount. Got the ice cream sandwich with salted caramel ice cream. It was like six, seven dollar. You get it's on the tasting pass. It's kind of hidden if you don't realize it because um, it's not you know it's just you know it, it's easy to miss the sign. So we're gonna give her a shot. At For whatever reason the. Uh, Waffle ice cream sandwich just did not work. Um, I've enjoyed it in the past, but this time it just was was bad, and I would not get it again. And probably be reluctant to get it for Christmas if they mix it up. The uh, waffle was just too like hard and frozen. It was um, kind of felt like it had been cooked like yesterday and stuck in the freezer for 24 hours and just gotten out. So I um, don't know if it was just a fluke or what, but um, like I said, I've enjoyed it in the past, you know, the Mayfield ice cream. Everybody knows what that is, but um, it just did not work this time. So I would, um, I would skip on that. They do have two food trucks open in any hot spot, which this late at night, I don't trust Dollywood food to be warm. 